What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install and use Wizard Coder, which is a brilliant model created by the same people who made Wizard LM that brings a really high quality coding AI slash chatbot to your PC running locally completely for free. So essentially, Wizard Coder was Wizard LM combined with Star Coder and Evolve Instruct, which created Wizard Coder, and the quality is absolutely insane. If we have a look at the Hugging Face page and scroll down a bit, we can see the quality here is comparable to GPT-4, GPT-3.5, and it's all the way on the higher end of a ton of models, including star-coded GPT. This model is insanely powerful and actually really good to be running on your own PC if you'd like a chatbot to generate and work on code with. Obviously, it'll be better for smaller methods, functions, and little tricks rather than a huge project because of the token limitations of running models locally on your PC, where Whereas something like GPT-4, you have a much higher token limit, meaning that it can multitask on more things at once. That being said, it's a great tool to play around with, and it's very recently released. So if you're wanting to try it out, you can of course use the Hugging Face page here, which you'll find linked down below if you don't have a computer or a powerful GPU. Otherwise, if you'd like to download it and use it on your own computer, you can do so using your graphics card. If you already have Uberbooga Text Generation Web UI installed, you can go ahead and enter the bloke slash wizard coder, etc. You'll find this down below into the download section of the program. Otherwise, if you've used my one-line installer to get this done, or you don't have Uberbooga already installed, you can use my one-line installer tool to get the text generation web UI, as well as this model downloaded, set up, and ready for use. So these one-line open source install scripts take quite a bit of time to create, and of course, even more to maintain. So if you enjoy using these, make sure to click the join button or support me through Patreon down below this video. Without further ado, the one-line install command. For this, hit start and type in terminal on Windows 11, then run this as administrator. Otherwise, search for PowerShell if you don't have this. On Windows 10, you may only have PowerShell. Then when it opens up at the very top here, simply make sure that you see PowerShell. Otherwise, click the drop down and select Windows PowerShell from this list here. Then when everything is set up, we can run IEX space and inside of brackets, IRM wizard coder .tc .ht close bracket. You'll find this in the description down below. Upon hitting enter, it'll connect to my open source script and start installing. Now this is an interactive installer, so what you see is probably going to be different to what I see here. Essentially, during the process, it'll create the environment, then it'll go ahead and install Uberbooga desktop if not already installed, as well as NVIDIA CUDA if you haven't got that, and shortly after, it'll update and install Uberbooga Windows. This could take some time depending on the speed of your internet, as it's downloaded a few packages to get the program working. There we go. So pressing any keys to continue, it'll go ahead and then download the wizard coder model. This is a rather big download and could take some time depending on the speed of your internet. But when it finally finishes, it'll ask us about a desktop shortcut. There we go. So do we want shortcuts? Yes. Enter. And now we should see a shortcut on our desktop that's created here, as well as the actual Uberbooga web UI should open here. Now, when it eventually does, you'll see a URL here that you can either control click on or right click to select after dragging around it and paste this into your browser. Now we're in the Uberbooga web UI. All we need to do now is give it a prompt. So for example, please write me Python code to count to 11, for example, simplifying it a bit to Python code to count to 11. We got a response here that's mostly correct. It's counting to 10. And the example here is pretty good, actually. It seems to be a bit disjointed about counting. But again, it is a language model, so it's trying its best compared to something like GPT-4 and things like that. Obviously, it won't be anywhere near as good. But as a simple coding assistant, this is actually where it's at. This is as good as it gets. So if I were to run this code here, it would count to 10 and obviously that's pretty much what we asked it. I could just raise it to 11 and that's that. Now, obviously using coding AI, whether it's even chat GPT, it's not going to generate everything exactly as you want it. You will need some manual correction to get things to where you want them to be. That being said, it is absolutely excellent. Just one thing to make sure of is that if you scroll down, make sure the mode is set to instruct here. Chat seems to be a bit confusing for it, but instruct worked perfectly. And that's really it. You can ask it about errors, ask it about 
different coding functions, maybe simplifying your code, etc. And it should do a reasonably good job for what it is. When you're done, you can simply close it and there'll be a shortcut on your desktop to make life easier the next time you want to use it. Just double click and it'll fire up as usual. Anyways, that's really about it for the super quick guide. If you found this one line installer super useful, make sure to click the join button below or support me through Patreon. So thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.